Hey friends and welcome back. So guys, we are in Kroger doing a little mega couponing. I have a cash budget of $20 for non-food items. I'm going to be taking advantage of the buy five, save five. First deal I'm doing is on the Colgate toothpaste. They're priced at $1.99. We have a coupon on the app for $2 off one. It makes it absolutely free. I'm going to actually go ahead and pick up two because I have a best customer coupon for a free box of Colgate toothpaste. All right, so the Huggies baby wipes are also part of the buy five, save five, priced at 99 cents. We have a 50 cent off one on the app, and there's also a 50 cent off one printable coupon. And you can pick up two using the app coupon and the printable. Each one will come out to be 49 cents. Now, if your store will allow you to use multiple coupons, regardless of what the limit says on the coupon, then you definitely can go ahead and stock up. I'm actually shopping in a store today that's pretty strict, so I'm only going to pick up two using one digital coupon and one paper coupon. All right, guys, so the ladies' speed stick as well as the men's speed stick is on Mega for 99 cents. We have 50 cent off one insert coupons, and there's coupons on the ladies as well as the men. So if you had four of each, you can definitely pick up four ladies and four men's as the coupon is a limit of four identical coupons, and that will make them 49 cents each. And here are the men. They have more variety on men's speed stick than they do on ladies, so whichever you may actually be in need of. All right, the soft soap hand soap is on Mega for 99 cents. We have the insight coupon for 50 cents off one, making it 49 cents, which is definitely a stock up price. I'm going to go ahead and pick up two only, and I'm going to hold out to see whether or not Walgreens runs any promotion on soft soap for like buy two or spend this, etc., get points back. Sometimes they do, so I'm going to hold my additional coupons for that, but I am going to go ahead and pick up two to include into my Mega deals. All right, so the Palm Olive Dish Soap, the 32.5 ounce, is on Mega for $1.99. We have an insert coupon for a dollar off one. The coupon is the limit of four, so you can't pick up four in one transaction, which will make them $0.99 cent each. Do y'all see what I see? These Tide Pods are on closeout for $3.59. They're participating in the Mega, so they're $2.59. And we have a $2 off one insert coupon from the PNG. Um, I'm going to try my luck and pick up all that they have let's see how that goes all right here is everything i'm getting that is non-food on the mega i did not go over the stay free pads deal because by the time you guys see this video this will be a dead deal the coupon expires um on the 11th which is today the day i'm shopping so for everything in my basket i should be right at 12 dollars and some change before tax i am hoping fingers crossed that i can get away with using multiple coupons on this Tide right here. All right, so on the food items, I'm picking up just a few things. I definitely need to get back and do an actual like stock up haul. But per usual, I'm picking up a half gallon of milk at $1.39, the full gallon at $1.99 this week. We have some frozen vegetables for, they're 10 for 10, so they'll ring up for a dollar each. The hot dogs are on sale with the mega for 99 cents, so I'm picking up some for the freezer and then also for the party. Then I do have a thing of pork chops. This is just one really thick cut pork chop. Marked down for $1.96 and then one for $1.89. Picking up ice cream for the kiddos. This is $5.88, quite expensive. The red robin onion rings as well as the um, checkers fries are on the mega for $1.99. Eggs are $1.89 this week for a 18 pound. Sugar free syrup, $1.79, regular price. And then these here, not the healthiest options, but the teenagers would definitely appreciate this. They're on um, closeout for $2.49, so I'm picking up two packs of those. So this is what I'm grabbing for the time being. Again, just really wanted to make sure I got my hot dogs or the mega. That way I'm covered for the freezer as well as the upcoming party. And then just some random things. Feeding the kids onion rings and fries tonight along with some, um, some chicken strips that I already have at home. So this is everything I'm getting that is food related.
All right, so everything went through perfectly except the 150 cent printable coupon I had for the Huggies wipes did not scan for whatever reason. I was already at checkout, so I wasn't going to bother with it. It was a line behind me. I went ahead and paid for them at 99 cent. That's still a pretty great price. So my total with tax, which was 78 cent, was $12.49 total. All of my coupons for the tie went through with no problems. There was no feeds. My cashier did not give me any issues, which is a plus. At this particular location, I just never know what I'm going to end up with. The cashiers and the managers sometimes like to make up their own rules. So there you have that. Now, Kroger's policy does state you can use five identical coupons in a transaction. And it has pretty much always been the case, disregarding what the coupon limit states. So always keep your eye out, no matter what store you're shopping at, for any closeout, clearance, rollbacks, etc. You just never know what deals you may find. And if you have coupons to stack with it, well, it makes for some pretty sweet savings. So again, $12.49 for all of my non-coupon items. The all right, guys. So I forgot to mention to scan your receipt on Fetch Rewards for those hot dogs, as they are a qualifying item within the Fetch category. Catalog. However, I was surprised to see that I got back almost 2,000 points for those Huggies wipes, which makes them absolutely free after the rebate. Now, I'm not even sure, well, I wasn't aware that Huggies was even a qualifying product within the Fetch app, so always remember to scan your receipt onto Fetch. No matter what store you're shopping at, no matter what you're purchasing, always scan your receipt. You never know what goodies or extra cash may be waiting for you there. So as always, thanks so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.